Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. This is indeed a blessed hour of prayer. And my beloved brothers and sisters and my friends, I thank you for joining me one more Sunday afternoon as I come to you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It is my privilege to come to you. We have work to do. There is work to be done. There are victories to be won. And we come in no other name but in the name of of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This afternoon I want to greet you on behalf of my family, my wife, and my two daughters. We are doing this work and this ministry for our Lord Jesus Christ and we are very happy for all of you who have joined us in prayer, in supplication, and even when we are preaching the word of God. You joined us and you support this ministry. May the God of heaven continue to bless you. We are going to be continuing on the, the topic of prayer. The power of prayer. Prayer is powerful. Great things happen when we pray. There is a writer that declares that when the saints began to pray or begin to pray then the lord will have his way and the glory of the lord will come down we anticipate his glory we anticipate his presence we anticipate his grace with us this afternoon And at this time, I want you to turn your Bible with me to the book of James. James chapter 5, the last chapter in the book of James. And I'll be reading from the New Living Translation. I'll be reading from verse 13 to verse, verses 18. Are any of you suffering hardship? You should pray. Are you, are any of you happy? You should sing psalms. Are any of you sick? You should call for the elders of the church to come and pray over you, anointing you with oil in the name of the Lord. Such a prayer offered in faith will heal the sick, and the Lord will make you well. And if you have committed any sins, you will be forgiven. Confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be well. The earnest prayer of a righteous person has great power and produce wonderful results. Elijah was a human as we are, and yet when he prayed earnestly that no rain would fall, none fell for three and a half years. Then when he prayed again, the sky sent down rain, and the earth begun to heal its crop. This is a portion of the reading of God's holy words. Great things happen when we pray. Sorry about that breaking transmission, technical difficulties, but we are here to pray. When the saints begins to pray and the Lord shall have his way, 
then the glory of the Lord will come down. Prior changes things. We have just read the scripture about the power of prior. The author James reflects on the prophet Elijah. Elijah has been known as a man of prior. One of the great era of prior. James make reference to him that he pray that it will not rain and for three and a half years no rain fall on the earth and he prayed again and rain fell on the earth. This shows the power of prayer but Elijah was a man of light passion like passion like us he is one that was also subjected to sin yet still when he prayed great things happen james encourage us that we too can pray to god and when we pray great things will happen we are in a time when we are to pray like never before because we are in perilous time we are in challenging time but we are here to pray john calvin as he speak or spoke about prayer his description of prayer is like this he said prayer is a soul of faith when we have faith it will lead us to pray when we believe in God it will lead us to pray when our trust is in God that will lead us to pray and I want to challenge you before I begin to pray that when the world go low with injustice when the world go low and in unfaithfulness when the world go low with all kinds of evil operation as a church as believers we must go high in prayer i in meditation seeking the face of god for this world that we are in i believe that we are at a low point when it comes to how we are operating uh, uh, as, a, as, as a people in general in the world this is time for the church to rise up and to stand up and to go high in prayer in the throne room of heaven the beauty about this that the throne room of heaven is available to us it is available to all of us for God is not a partial God God is not a God who only listen to the, to the prayers of the mighty or the strong or those that are rich. But God listen to every sincere prayers that has been offered up to him. We are coming from this corner of the hurt with our sincere prayer coming to God. Knowing that he is the one that will change the world's circumstances. The Bible tells us that we should pray in the spirit with all kinds of prayers and supplication. We are here to pray in the spirit. We are in this political season. I just know that the Lord is bidding us to pray. Oh, the gates of hell is coming against the church. The, po the forces of darkness, they are trying to silence the church of God but that is not possible they cannot silence us we have power on our side we have the Lord Jesus Christ on our side the gates of hell cannot prevail against the church the church have power on the church side so we are going to pray at this time even in this time we know that we are in a warfare we are in warfare, but the weapon of our warfares, they are not carnal. But they are mighty to God 
for the pulling down of stronghold. So we are going to pray that stronghold will be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. So wherever you are, wherever you are, I am asking you to join with me in prayer. Agree with me. We are going to touch in Jesus. For that's really what matter. When we touch in Jesus, our lives will never be the same. There is only one way to touch Jesus. That is to believe when we call on his name. Saints, everywhere, let us pray. On a hill far away stood an whole rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and shame. But I love that old cross where the dearest and bled and died for a world of lost sinners was saved. So I cherish the old rugged cross till my trophy when lost I lay down. I will cling to the whole rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown. When he called me someday to my home far away, where his glory forever we'll share. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the sacrifice that you have made for us. We thank you, O oh God, that you have made this medium available that we can come to you in prayer. We ask this afternoon that you will help us to pray in the Spirit. Help us to pray, Lord Jesus, according to your will and according to your purpose. Help us to pray, O oh God, an unselfish prior oh god it is in the spirit we pray for while we are living as a people in a world of cares there are many burdens that we have to bear we realize that there is a prior bell at the lord's right hand now we are giving this prior bell a ring for we know that you will understand and you will answer our prayer. We come to you, Lord Jesus. Spirit of the living God, I pray that you will fall afresh and me. Spirit of the living God, I pray that you will envelop this room. I pray that you will pray through me. Help me to pray, O oh God, in light of your words and according to your plan you have planned for your people you have a purpose for this world to fulfill you are in charge you are the great high priest you are the immortal invisible god holy wise we place you at the highest place this afternoon for you are the great high priest. We place you far above all else. We come to you and we worship at your feet. We worship at your feet, Daddy. We worship at your feet, Abba Father. We know that the enemy don't want us to come to you. He don't want us to pray. Because he know that when the weakest of saints get on their knees and pray his kingdom is in trouble the enemy started to tremble when the weakest believer begins to pray 
And I believe that all over this world, uh, the believers uh, are praying uh, to their God. Uh, and so this afternoon I joined uh, with all the believers uh, that are praying uh, that God Almighty will have his way. Hallelujah. I join with them uh, and I come to you, Heavenly Father. We come to you, hallelujah, and we appreciate you. Son of God, what a comfort you are. Lord, we see the situation that this world is in. Oh God, we see the threat of evil that are seeking to walk on both sides of the road. Evil are planning to take over and cause mass destruction. But we stand in the gap in the name of Jesus Christ. We stand in the gap upon the authority of the Holy Ghost. And Lord, we repent from our sins first of all. We repent, O oh God, and we pray, O oh God, that you will forgive our sins. Lord Jesus, we pray that you will blot out the transgression of the nation. Hallelujah. We know that your second return is near. The sign of the time is telling us that God's second return is near. And so, God, we are praying, oh God, that righteousness will usher in your second return. Godliness and godly standard will usher in your second return. We push back against evil. We push back against the evil force. We pray that our world will not be taken over by evil force or by the powers of of darkness uh, or by principalities uh, or by the rulers of the dark world uh, or by spiritual wickedness uh, in high places uh, but in the name of Jesus uh, I pray that we will have strength uh, I pray that we will have authority and power through Jesus Christ uh, to push back every dark cloud uh, that are coming against uh, this nation we push back against the dark clouds uh, that are coming against this nation and we pray in the name of Jesus uh, that we will have victory we pray for victory in the name of Jesus Lord we look to you for you are the hearter you are the finisher of our faith no other help we have the writer declares and I joined with him I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills but where does my help come from my help comes from the Lord who made the heavens on the hurt you promise in your word that you will not suffer our foot to be removed you keep it Israel you who watches over your people you never slumber, you never sleep. Lord Jesus, you are our keeper. You are the shade upon our right hand. The sun shall not smite us by day, nor the moon by night. You, God, preserve the soul of the believer. You preserve the soul of your people. Them who trust in you are like Mount Zion. We will not be removed, but abided forever. We pray in the name of Jesus uh, that that abiding spirit, uh, that that abiding present, uh, that abiding grace uh, of Jesus Christ uh, will come over us abide with us in this season oh lord abide with us in this season lead us oh god in this season oh god we come to you because you bid us to seek your face you be, you bid us to believe your words and to trust your grace and so this evening, we are causing upon you all of our heavy cares. We wait for thee, sweet hour of prayer. 
Yahweh, Yahweh, we lift up the political situation that is in America. We lift up this election that are coming in all, uh, almost two weeks. We pray, O oh God, that all the, the bloodshed that seemingly in view, we pray that these evil will be turned back in the name of Jesus and that we will have a peaceful election. Lord, we are praying for a peaceful election. We are praying, oh God, that your will will be done in this election. Your words to us that we should pray for the peace of the country that we live in. For it is in the peace of the country that we ourselves are going to have peace. We pray for peace in the name of Jesus. We pray for peace upon the authority of the Holy Spirit. Lord, I commit every leader to you. I pray for the political leaders. Lord Jesus, I pray that you will be, O oh God, the one to make the decision for us going forward. I pray that evil will not create the path, O oh God, but righteousness will lead uh, as we go forward. I prayed for the political leaders. I prayed for the members of parliament. I prayed for the members, O oh God, of the House, the Senate. O oh God, I prayed for everyone that are in the White House in this season. It's a tough season. It's a difficult season. It is a challenging season. It is a fearful season. But we pray, Almighty God, that you will stretch down your mighty hand. Rabo Shanda. We pray, Almighty God, Yahweh, that you will stretch down your mighty hand. We pray that we will see your hand in this time and in this season. We pray for your right hand. Oh God, for we know that your right hand is a right hand of mercy. Lord God, we pray that we will not experience your left hand in this season, but that we will experience your right hand, your right hand of mercy for the nation, mercy for this country, mercy for this city, mercy for the world in general. We pray for God's mercy, mercy upon us as your people. Lord Jesus, we pray that we will not perish, but that we will repent and live lord we lift up this nation to you we lift up your people to you we push back against the gates of hell we push back against evil hallelujah we nullified we cancel we declare powerless and ineffective all the plans of the adversaries in the name of jesus christ and upon the authority of the Holy Ghost. Heavenly Father, we prayed for clearance. We prayed, O oh God, that you will clear the heavens. O oh God, we pray that you will clear the heavens. We know that even now, the strongholds are setting up barriers. They are setting up roadblock. They are setting up, O oh God, uh, an attack uh, but in the name of Jesus uh, we pray that you will send uh, your Holy Spirit uh, you will send uh, the angels of the Lord uh, to push back uh, every roadblock that is in the way we pray for clarity as we go forward we pray in the name of Jesus Lord we lift the churches up to you we lift up the praying believers to you. Those that are standing in the gap. Some of us hands we are getting tired. Some of us knees we are weary. 
Some of our souls, we are thirsty. Oh, we are longing for the spirit. We are longing for a refreshing. We are longing for a revival. We are longing for a mighty move of God. Rabo Shanda. We pray, God, that we will experience a move of God in this season. We pray that we will experience the mighty hands of God in this season. You are still healing just the same. Lord Jesus, you are the same healing Jesus as the time when you walk on the shore of Galilee. When you go through Nazareth. When you walk through Palestine, you heal the blind, you cause the cripple to walk, you cure leprosy, you are just the same. We prayed for healing for the nations. We pray that we will experience healing from this coronavirus. Raho Shandebeha. We pray that the church will rise up and declare healing over this virus that we are facing. We believe that you are still the healing Jesus. You heal in Galilee. You set the suffering captive free. You are just the same today. We call out to you as a church. We pray that we will be equipped with the Holy Spirit and power to fight this warfare. We pray that we will fight this warfare in the name of Jesus and upon the authority of the Holy Ghost. For the weapon of our warfares, they are not carnal, but they are mighty true God. We pray that you will send, oh God, reinforcement for us. Send us help. We are on the front line and the enemy is pushing against the church. We pray for heavenly reinforcement to push back against the forces of darkness. To push back against the dark world. To push Push back against spiritual wickedness in high places. To push back against evil men and evil women. And to declare the power of Jesus name. We push back now in the name of Jesus. We push back with the word of God. The sword of the spirit. We push back in faith. Believing that he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Mosai shall abide under the shadow of the almighty we press and we push back in prayer we pray for victory in this season Rabo Shandai Rabo Shandai Lord we pray that you will raise up a people in this time that will be radical that will be fearless that will be prepared to stand up against the gates of hell. The Holy Ghost men and women, they are now needed. We come before you, Lord. Rabo Shandai, raise up a generation, raise up a people, prepare for the season that we are facing. Lord, we pray that you will give us power from an eye. Pour out your power upon us. Pour out your spirit upon us. Lord, we know that the devil is fighting all the marriage relationships that which you have ordained. Everything you ordained the adversary wants to destroy. But in the name of Jesus Christ and upon the authority of the Holy Spirit, I pray for every marriages, every single marriages. I pray that whosoever God join together, no man, no woman, no devil, no principalities, no powers will pull asunder. We declare it in the name of Jesus and upon the authority of the Holy Ghost. I pray a blood 
covering over every marriage. I pray God's spirit upon every married couple, whether they are Christian or they are not Christian, whilst they are married, I pray that they will be kept together in the power of the Holy Ghost and in the name of Jesus. We come against those who are trying to pull weddings and couples apart. Rabo Shandai. We pray against the witches. Rabo Koshandai. We pray against the warlocks. We pray against the sorcerers. We pray against the god haters. Rabo Shandai, we pray against those that are working in darkness. We pray against those that wants to destroy homes. We pray against them in the name of Jesus and upon the authority of the Holy Ghost. We cut your card, we cancel your plan, we nullify you, and we declare you ineffective. Rabo Shandai. We pray against black magic, every witchcraft, spiritual wickedness. We pray against them in the name of Jesus. We nullify them. We cancel them. We turn them back in the name of Jesus. No witches is going to have a free run for we come in the name of Jesus. No warlock is going to have a free run. For we come in the name of Jesus. We take authority. Oh God, we realize that in many of the cities in America, crime and violence is rampant. In the African American black communities, crime is on a rise. But we pray, oh God against the strong man we pray against the strong man of crime and violence rabo koshanda we pray against the strong man in philadelphia we pray against the strong man in chicago we pray against the strong man in new york city and all of these cities that are facing a rise in crime and violence. We pray against the strong man. Asking you Lord Jesus. By your power. To bind up the strong man. That the captive will be released. Oh God. There are homes that are facing death right now. The gun is at a door. The knife is at a door. The hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somewhere on the street. If it's even one life to be spared in the name of Jesus. I pray that the angel of the Lord, I pray that the spirit of the Lord will reach out your mighty hand and turn back the spirits of death. In the name of Jesus, we prayed that righteousness will exalt the nation. We pray that holiness righteousness peace and love will flood our streets hallelujah neighbors we lived as neighbors hallelujah unity oh god peace like a river in the name of jesus we pray oh god for those that are in the hospital because of this coronavirus, we learn that another wave is on the way. O Rabba Kasanda Rabba Honde Debe Kasandai Rabo Koshataya Rabo Koshande Debe Kasandai. We hear that another wave is on the way. But Lord, we want to hear what you are saying about this other wave. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are praying that you will intervene. We are praying that you will intervene, Lord. Lord God, we know that they, predict, they predict that it will be very, very serious and even worse than before. But we pray that you will intervene. 
Holy Spirit. Intervene, Lord Jesus. Intervene. Hallelujah. Many are out there. They are thinking about suicide. People are out there thinking about ending their own life. I pray that the spirit of life will visit them. Lord Jesus, I pray that you will send a visitation to a soul that is at the point of death. Bring them back to life. You are the life giver. Lord, as we pray this prayer this Sunday afternoon, we stand in the gap. For you have bid us to pray. We stand in the gap. Because you have bid us to seek your face. We know that you hear us when we pray. We know that you will answer our prayer. For the nation. As we look to you. With all of our petitions. We prayed mighty your way. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, that your will will be done. Let your will be done over this nation. Let your will be done in the lives of your people. We will be careful to give you glory. Now unto you, Lord Jesus, who is able to do immeasurably, abundantly, above what we ask or imagine. To the only wise God, immortal, invisible, God only wise, the God who dwells in the light that is unapproachable, and still you take the time out to listen and to answer our prayer. For indeed you are higher than all events. And the hurt cannot contain you. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for your spirit that give us utterance. To pray one more Sunday afternoon for the nation, for your people. We believe that you are doing a work all over this world. Your hands is appearing in homes. Your right hand, it is appearing in homes. All across this world. Peace. Peace. Like a river. We thank you Lord. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. Oh that man. Will praise your name. For you are indeed worthy. To be praised. Thank you Lord Jesus. For praying through me by your Holy Spirit. Thank you for healing our nation. Thank you for healing our world. Thank you for your hands of power. Even now we give you glory and honor. In Jesus' name, amen. And amen. Well, to God be the glory. Thank you for tuning in and for joining me in prayer. We are called to do this. Prayer changes things. God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Until another time, in my usual word, until then, my heart will go on singing. Until then, with joy I'll carry on. Until the day my eyes behold the city. 
until the day Christ called me home. Stay sweet. Stay with the Lord. I love you. Shalom. Peace.